Hello and welcome back to the Looking Stylish YouTube channel. Today's video is all about my recent trip to Dallas. I thought I would talk you through the things that I packed, what I wore, um, and I'll put some photos in of me wearing the outfits. I have got a few video clips as well. Um, the sound on them isn't very good, so I will probably talk over those for you. And um, it does start with my case and how things are packed. So if you haven't seen my rolling technique of packing, you might find that interesting as well. Um, and I will actually link the video that I did about my packing as well, because I think you'll probably find that interesting and useful if you're going on a trip. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting in my wardrobe, I've got a section here, which is the pieces that I'm going to be taking with me. So for example, one day I'm going to be wearing this jacket with that top and that skirt. So that is clipped together. And on the hanger, I've got a bag that's got any um, jewellery that's going to be going with it. And then at the moment over in my other wardrobe, I've got a separate space where I've put all the shoes that I'm taking and all of the handbags that I'm taking. So they're all together. So I'm going to start getting it all out now and um, I'll come back to you when I start getting it packed. Okay, so I've now finished rolling things and rolling the clothing and packing it into the suitcase. And um, I pack most things or roll most things in a set of three. Sometimes if they're thin things, then there might be four in there. But what I also do is you can see here, anything that's a lighter color goes in the middle of the roll. Um, and I also put things that are a little bit more delicate that I don't want to catch on anything. So any silk pieces, um, or I've got a little um, Eileen Fisher sort of mesh top in here which would get ruined if it got caught. So they go in the middle as well. Um, so it doesn't look very exciting at the moment because they, mostly all you can see is navy and black. Um, so those are two of the colours I'm taking. I am taking um, this lovely mustard colour as well in the jacket that I've got and then I've got the mustard bag to go with it. And so my bags are sitting here ready to be packed. They'll all go into um, protective bags. I've also now got on the bed all of the jewellery and belts and accessories that I'm taking everything now other than the shoes. So I'm working on these next. What I'll probably do with this bag, because it's got quite a big space in it, is I will put some of the jewellery in there and I'll put the belts in there as well. Okay, next step, which I think you can see a bit better now that the sun has gone in. I've um, also got now my small um, case here and I've put into here, this bag has got that black handbag which is filled with all the jewellery. That's another handbag, but underneath there are some shoes. I've got shoes here and um, belts there. And then this one. I've now got um, some shoes in bags there, a handbag, um, all of my toiletries, not including face products because I like to keep the two separate. So I'll have another little bag going in there with all my face products, most of which are like little sample sizes so that I don't have to carry too much. So this one's got things like um, shampoo, conditioner, there's a hair mask, all of that kind of thing in there. Um, and then my actual cosmetics will go in this one because it's got holders for um, brushes and things in there as well. Um, I've just found out this um, protective cover for my laptop which is going to go into the big case with the clothing um, and then be padded with um, some nightwear on top of that. I um, found out my camera case, the purse that I take with me when I go away because it's a lot smaller than the mulberry one that I usually use. Um, essentials like my adapters and um, yeah, so I'm just now getting ready the last bits of tech stuff, um, camera, tripod, all of that kind of thing and obviously my laptop but I'm just printing some stuff off from that. So almost done now. Last bits to do will be um, cosmetics, which I will use in the morning. 
Um, I've also got a hair wand, which I bought in Dallas, so it's actually got a US plug on it. So I'll be packing that in as well, because I find with the dual voltage, you don't always get one to work when, you're, um, when you take one from home. So I'm almost there, and then I'm going to be sorting out my hand luggage. Right, so I'm just about finished now. Um, this case is just going to have my cosmetic bag in it in the morning after I've done my makeup. Um, I've got my hand luggage here, which is my um, Marc Jacobs red tote bag. Um, so I'll put my iPad and book and stuff like that in there. I've got my handbag ready um, and my makeup bag, which I just need to put in lipstick and stuff like that in the morning once I've used it. A few bits here, which I will use in the morning. And um, this case, I've moved the um, toiletries bag out of there into the other one just to redistribute the weight a little bit because that one now has my... Um, laptop in it <laughs> so that one is just about finished and fortunately as you can see there is space in that one for shopping and there is also space in this one for shopping so um yeah i think i've done pretty well there so first of all starting with the journey out there now when i travel i do like to look um a little bit stylish um, i don't tend to go for the kind of um jogger pants look um, because I always like to look like a travel first class even if I don't. Um, I do have some really nice red luggage and it always gets commented on so I'll quite often wear an outfit with some red in it. Um, in fact at the hotel this year the um, concierge when he got my luggage out for me he was saying oh we were all looking at your luggage we loved it. Um, so I will link the bits of it that are still available down below. Um, so, with the travel outfit, obviously comfort is really important. As I said, I want to look stylish, but I also want to be comfortable as well. Now, I know that I bang on about these trousers a lot, um, trousers, leggings, whatever you like to call them, but I really could not live without these. <laughs> um, if as you probably know, I have them in three colours now. I have them in a red and a brown as well. This pair are probably now um, four years old. They have a tiny little bit of boggling on them, but hardly at all. They wash beautifully, um, they stretch, so they're really comfortable when you're wearing them. They don't have a tight elasticated waist, they have this nice thick band, so they stay in place, they don't slip, they don't bag at the knees. Um, I dress them up for evenings with a long silk top. I wear them casually. I've worn them in the winter tucked into boots. I wear them in the summer. I could go on and on. Um, you know how much I love these. So these were the first piece in my travel outfit. Uh, because they are a legging shape, I like to wear a longer tunic top over the top of them. So the top that I picked is um, one that, again, it's a couple of years old. I bought it, I think, in the LK Bennett sale. Um, it washes really nicely. It's got a nice print on it, and I always feel good in it. It's very slimming. So I went with that, and um, then I just like a nice lightweight cardigan over the top. Um, I don't very often get cold anymore. That's one of the joys of being 50. So um, I do like something though, because sometimes when you get in the air conditioning on the plane, it can be a little bit chilly. So I just had a lightweight jersey cardigan and a pair of flats, kind of ballet pump type shoes. And because they've got like a scalloped edge to them, they make them a little bit more interesting. So um, that was my travel outfit. It worked really well. It didn't crumple. It was really comfortable. Um, and I arrived feeling great, even though it was quite warm when I got to Dallas, despite my three hour delay, um, I was comfortable in it. So yeah, that worked really well. Then on the uh, next day, the first day, the event doesn't actually start until late afternoon. So in the morning, I met up with my friend Deborah from Canada and um, we went to the shopping mall. Um, of course, I had to make a visit to Eileen Fisher. I will probably post either a video or a blog post about um, the outcome of that visit at a later date. Um, so yeah, so the first day I just wore a pair of cream um, capri trousers 
and um, a lovely linen knit. It was comfortable, it was relaxed, but it still looked quite stylish. And again, I wore the same flat shoes because I knew that we were going to be doing a lot of walking around the mall. Now on the first day, the um, registration for the event is at 3 p.m. So everybody starts to arrive. Obviously, I'd already checked in the night before. And um, once you've arrived, they have what they call a brand suites, which is where all the brands from the conference have kind of mini exhibition stands and you can go up and have a chat to them informally. And on the first afternoon, they have like um, a champagne reception. So you can go up, get a glass of bubbly and wander around and have a talk to the different brands there. So that was great. Um, Deborah and I actually made a beeline for the LMS stand because I really wanted to talk to the um, girls there. And we had a skin analysis, which was really interesting. And I will probably also do a post about that in um, a later date. So that was great. Once that's finished, um, we then need to get ready for the first night's cocktail party and it starts at 5 p.m so it's quite an early start you don't have an awful lot of time to get ready and the first night cocktail party is always beside the pool and all of the um, parties and lunches and things are hosted by one of the brands so for this particular party we were hosted by a brand called soul society and um, they always put on a really good event. So this one kind of had an Italian theme. And when I was thinking about what I wanted to wear for this event, I had built, thought about a pair of printed trousers and actually I had seen a pair in LK Bennett, which I absolutely loved the print. If you've seen it, you'll probably know the one. It's got a, got a green to it. So I ordered the trousers and in the meantime, I found this gorgeous bag which I knew would go perfectly and the fact that it had a little shell on the front I thought really picked up with that sort of pool party thing. As it turned out when the trousers arrived and I tried them on I wasn't 100% sure of them. They were very wide um, and they just weren't that flattering on me. They kind of made me look too wide and boxy. I'd already got the bag, so I was determined that I was going to use that because in the meantime, I had then also found the necklace. And it's almost like they were made for each other because of the shell on the necklace as well. So I tried all sorts of alternatives. I actually ordered the dress that was in the same print. Um, that was enormous. <laughs> so that had to go back as well. And then when I was going through my um, some wardrobe, looking for bits and pieces to take to the conference, I remembered that I had these trousers. Now these I bought about two years ago from Marks and Spencers, believe it or not. Um, they were no more than, I think, £39. Um, they wash and wear really well, they're really comfortable, they went with my green bits, so that kind of solved that problem. And um, I was going to wear them with my little Eileen Fisher cream shell top. I will insert a picture, I was all dressed and ready to go, and then I decided that I didn't really want my arms showing too much. And I had packed um, a cream caftan top, which again is about two years old. It was another bargain buy from Wallace. And I decided to pair that with the trousers. So um, I will insert pictures as we go along um, and possibly a few bits of video as well. I'll see how it works out when I come to do the editing of this video. So that was my first night. I already had the sandals from a previous year. Um, I felt really comfortable in it. I was quite hot because it was about 80 degrees that evening. Um, but I really felt like I was covered enough. I loved the little bits that I bought to go with it, which I thought gave it that extra touch. And I thought it worked really well um, in style for the theme of the party. Day one is where you get into the sort of proper conference. And the morning always starts with, um, in a large room with a stage, with a keynote speech from, um, usually from Amber, who created the company with her husband, um, Baxter. And actually they both spoke this year and they're always really interesting to listen to. 
Amber is a fantastic talker. She's very natural, she has no notes, it just all flows beautifully and she has so much valuable information. So that was really great. And um, then they also had a couple of other speakers. One of them that was, again was really interesting was a lady who um, father bought the Dallas Cowboys and really turned them around and built the stadium and she was talking about building a brand and that was just really fantastic to hear her talk. So um, after that we have a lunch which is hosted by again one of the brands and this time it was Mary Kay. Now for today's event, because we have brand meetings and classroom sessions in the afternoon, when you're meeting up with brands, I like to stand out but still look professional. So for day one, I had spotted the chevron trousers that I wore. So those were new, I bought them in Phoenix about a week before I went actually. So I paired those with one of the Ravello tops from Bowden in a navy blue. Um, it's got a little bit of silk in it, so it makes it that little bit more special. And it's a lovely flattering shape to wear as well. And then I, over the top of that, I wore um, an ivory jacket just to add that touch of professionalism. I had planned to take several bags with me. I mean, I did take a few evenings bag with me, but I was also going to take a couple of day bags. And in the end, I decided that I just didn't want to pack that much. So for that day as well, I also used my red mulberry handbag. So I had a little bit of pop of red in the outfit. And with that, I added red lips and um, my red toenails. The sandals that I wore, um, again, I bought them last summer. I had worn them to walk all over the place when we went to Italy, so I knew that they were comfortable, but they also have a little bit of an extra sort of glamour to them because they've got studs on them. And in fact, if you have seen the Valentino rock stud sandals, which are probably about 600 pounds, um, these are a much more affordable option. They're not cheap, I think they're still about £160, something like that, but obviously quite a big difference. Um, and they're beautiful quality, they're by Ash, which um, are also an Italian company. And um, so yeah, I love them, I'm uh, really happy with them. Wouldn't spend the £600 on the Valentino ones, I'm perfectly happy with the Ash ones. So that was my outfit for the daytime. The evening party for day one uh, was sponsored by eBay, so they were our hosts for it. And this time it was out in the um, sort of gardens, terrace area of the hotel. It's really beautiful, the hotel. It's got um, lovely gardens, really pretty. You'll see from the pictures that I insert from um, both this event and the Mary Kay event. And for this one, I picked one of my absolute favourite outfits. It was the one that I wore for my daughter's graduation last year. I love the colours of it. Um, it feels really feminine. It feels really special because the culottes have these split panels of um, kind of Georgette fabric and they float as you walk and as you move. So it's one that I know I feel really good in. I know I feel confident in it. Um, and again, it was an absolute pleasure to wear it again. Um, I wore it almost exactly the same way that I wore it for my daughter's graduation with the same blouse and um, uh, this time I did wear the sandals again which I'd worn last year. I just swapped the bag and I put a bag in that I, again, a couple of years old, little cream bag with um, flowers on it. So that outfit was a tried and trusted one and that's a big tip really. If you're going to an event and you don't know what to wear and you're feeling a little bit concerned because you don't know what other people are going to be wearing or perhaps you're going to be on show, pick something that you really feel happy in um, because once you've got it on you can forget all about it and you can worry about all the other things and you don't have to worry about what you look like you know that that looks good on you and um, if you've had compliments about it before then i would always say go for something rather perhaps than buying something new which when you come to put it on somehow it doesn't quite feel right um, go for something that is tried and trusted that you really love so that's what i did for the second party 
And then the final day of the conference is, again, um, it's all about the meetings with the brands and the classroom session. Now we had a massive storm on the morning of um, the second day there. It didn't rain too hard, there was just a lot of thunder. So um, I was glad that I packed a jacket with me for that day. And the jacket that I packed was the um, mustard coloured one that I showed you in my spring capsule wardrobe, which I'll also link for you below if you haven't seen that. Then underneath that, I did buy a new top and it was this one by Morella and it's a double layer one. So it's got a jersey layer underneath and then it's got this kind of Georgette top to it. So it makes it a little bit more special. And that is one that I would probably wear for evenings as well as these more sort of dressy daytime occasions. And plus the fact it is really comfortable to wear. It's lovely and soft inside. The only thing I would say is um, be careful with jewellery in case you catch it. I did get a little catch in it, but I managed to feed it through. So that was the top that I wore. And then I wore my whistle skirt, which you will have seen in a previous video. Again, it's a lovely feminine shape. It moves really nicely. Um, it did crease a little bit when I was sitting, but to be honest, I wasn't too bothered about that because I just love the skirt. Because it's got the buttons up the front, you can undo the buttons as high or as low as you want to. So if you want to show a bit of leg, it's perfect. And with that, I wore a pair of block heeled shoes, which again, I bought from LK Bennett. What are we going to do without LK Bennett? <laughs> it's the only thing I can say. Um, I bought them in the sale last year and they were a combination of black and tan as well. So they worked really well with the outfit. Now, usually I'd put something on my neck, but I decided this time that I would be a little bit more on trend and wear a big pair of hooped earrings. Um, and they're quite fine earrings, but they're quite big and they've got little black beads on them, which then worked really well with the sort of black and camel combination. So that was my outfit for day two. For the final night, I didn't actually end up going to the party. I had thought about it, but by the afternoon of day two, I was starting to get quite a bad headache. The jet lag was really kicking in because I didn't sleep for 24 hours when I travelled out because of the delay I had. I and mean, I was feeling really, really tired. So I decided that I would have room service an early night and um, yeah, so I didn't actually get dressed up for that evening. I had planned to take something that I already had in my wardrobe already. So um, I wasn't too disappointed that I didn't get to show off a new outfit. It's something that I like. It's um, basically another Eileen Fisher outfit. Um, but I didn't wear it and so I wasn't, I wasn't upset about it. I didn't feel like I had wasted an outfit. The next day I had quite a lot of time to spare because my flight wasn't due until 9.55 in the evening. Again, I was delayed by about three hours, so that was fun too. Um, but that again was because of a storm. They temporarily closed the airport and had to reroute the incoming plane. Um, so I went back to the mall and I did a little bit more shopping, had a good old wander around there. And I decided that I would wear something again that was stylish but comfortable. I did actually wear that same top again underneath my mustard jacket. Um, and then I wore these, what Hobbs calls them trousers, but again, they're, they're a wide leg trouser or a culotte. They've got a nice elasticated waist to them. What I found fantastic about these was that I sat at the airport for seven hours in them. I then sat on a plane for 10 hours in them. Um, and when I got home, they were hardly creased at all. Uh, they just wore beautifully. They were so comfortable because they've got that elastic in them. They didn't dig in at all when I was on the plane. I managed to sleep in them. Um, and the other thing about those is, and actually the culottes is the same, they both say dry clean. Um, I put both of them on the cold hand wash program in my washing machine and they both came out perfectly. So I thought these Hobbs trousers were a really good buy um, and I was really happy with them. So with those, again, I wore the flat um, ballet pumps uh, just for comfort. 
because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of walking around again whilst I was shopping. And so that's what I wore for the final day and the journey home. So I hope that was useful for you. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I wore, please ask them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. I will of course link all of the outfits, um, anything that is still available, anything that's not, I'll try and see if I can find something similar for you. And um, I hope that's given you some ideas to think about when you're um, planning outfits for events. I would say that something like those um, LK Bennett culottes, which are still available, um, would be great for a wedding because they are really, you know, such a lovely shape. And um, so if there's anything else that you think of, just ask me. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, then I would love it if you subscribe to the channel and you'll get notification when I release a new video, which will be regularly now. And um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.